I don't have the budget to go spend two, three thousand dollars on computers and laptops and constantly upgrade them just to keep up with the latest games. But Nvidia says that you no longer need to do that. So let's go see what Nvidia has to offer. Hi, my name is Andrew Fear. I'm from NVIDIA and we're here at CES 2018 and we're showing off GeForce Now, which is our cloud gaming service. Now, GeForce Now allows you to connect your PC or Mac to your digital stores and play the games you own. Uh, you can see here we're playing in here right now. I've got GeForce Now running on our Mac, which we launched about six months ago. But the cool new announcements this year is now GeForce Now is available on PCs for the first time. Uh, you can see here I'm playing it on actually a wonderful, beautiful $200 uh, purple PC. Uh, showing off the power of GeForce Now, games in the cloud stream to your laptop. Uh, but we're also showing off a brand new partnership with Ubisoft to bring Uplay games uh, to GeForce Now. So this is Rainbow Six Siege, which is pretty amazing to see it now streaming on this laptop, which has absolutely no, it, ha it really has no ability to play this game. It doesn't have the graphics or the CPU performance. And also even playing it on the Mac here, which if anyone who plays this game knows there's no Mac version available. So we're really excited here now to bring all these new games and these new platforms to our users to, be, to turn their devices into gaming rigs. So I've got another demo here to show you, which is a work laptop. So a lot of people, you know, we talked about have work laptops, they can't game on it. Well, now you can. And we're actually showing off another feature we have called Ultra Streaming Mode. The idea behind it is we want to continue to deliver better, lower, faster experiences, lower latency. So what we do on the server is we actually render it at 120 frames per second. We stream it down to your display, which renders at 60, but you get the, you get the benefit of faster rendering, which means lower latency. And I'm going to switch back into my game here. This is actually Fortnite running right here. It's extremely responsive. I think when our users try it, if you turn on the feature when you're, when you're playing your games, uh, you'll see that it's incredibly responsive. It feels just like you're gaming locally. And that's what we want to do is we want to continue to make the experience better and make it feeling like you're playing on a local gaming rig. Now available for download. So anyone who had access to the Mac beta before can immediately download the PC app and start trying it on their PC. Anyone who hasn't had access to the beta before can sign up on our website for the waitlist and we're going to invite new people e each week to participate in the beta. And the great thing is that it costs you nothing to participate. It's all free. Uh, we haven't decided when we're going to start charging money yet. We want to get it right. Uh, so we're just inviting people to go ahead and sign up and they get it free. Uh, you connect to the digital store, so you just need to own the games. But the great thing is we have a lot of free-to-play game options that you can play, like uh, Fortnite, you can play Paragon, so lots of options there. So you mentioned about you needed to own the game. Tell me about that before you can just start playing it. Right, so we're just, we're just a PC in the cloud. Right? So just like any other, any other user out there is if you wanted to play games, you would need to buy them from Steam or from Ubisoft. And so all we're doing here is we're just connecting to those stores and allowing you to play the games you already own. Okay, so obviously the big question is, well, if I already own the game, why don't I just install it myself on my $200 machine? <laughs> Will I have problems? Well, actually, we have a great demo to show you that if you'd like us to show you over here. This is, a, you know, people always say, well, what about playing the game locally? Well, I'll show you the difference between playing a game locally and then playing a game on GeForce Now. So this is, um, this is a $400 laptop here. Actually, we, we wanted to show a $200 laptop playing the game locally, but we simply couldn't do it. Um, the game wouldn't install. Um, it wouldn't even launch, basically. So we had to upgrade to an amazing $400 PC. So this is, this is a, the world's most popular game right now, PUBG. You can see it playing on this $400 Acer laptop. Um, it's probably rendering, uh, if you can zoom in and see it, maybe two frames per second um, with a lot of settings turned down. So I would call this basically unplayable. I can't even sometimes press the start button because I have to press it during the right render time. There, I, you can see I finally was able to start my game. Um, if you contrast that with GeForce Now, uh, we're all streaming it straight from the cloud. You can see it right here. This is now rendering at 60 frames per second. It looks beautiful. It's completely interactive. Um, you see the grass is moving and it looks all realistic. It's fully rendered and when I press the start button, it actually works the first time. Uh, and just to be clear, these are the exact same machines? Literally the exact same uh, machines. We bought them in retail ourselves. We sent out one of our marketing guys to buy them. He bought them side by side. Um, like I said, I would have loved to show the $200 one. I simply couldn't get it to install on the $200 one. Well, and interesting, we started this a couple of minutes later and it's already loaded, ready to go. The other one is still battling to even Absolutely. get you, off the screen. You, you can see it's, uh, it's pretty much night and day. And it takes that from the, the user who said, you know, I have a $200 laptop, I have a work laptop, I have an underperforming thin and light PC. I want to play, but I simply can't. Now we're, we're transforming that market and we're allowing all those people that want to be gamers, they want to participate in this game, now they can do it.
Okay, I mean, let's have a look at this. So you're moving this around, and it's, I mean, it's as if it's installed like it. Right. And look at the ground textures, look at all that. Now this right. is, this and this is, is the same here. Yeah? You can see, I think I might be able to enjoy this game. I'm not quite sure. Wow. <laughs> I'm not, I'm literally just running the same exact laptop. I can barely even move my mouse and keep up with it. This is also known as how to lose friends in about five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> okay. Your squad mates will definitely not like you. This is your laptop of choice for gaming. Wow. There's a website to go to. If you go to our website, uh, geforce.com slash uh, geforce-now, you can sign up for our waitlist. Uh, we're going to invite people every week to, uh, to participate in the betas, and you'll get an email with an activation code and a link to download the PC and the Mac apps. Huh. Wouldn't we all like to get one of these bad boys, but not all of us can. So therefore, the GeForce Now is an absolute superb solution transforming our existing hardware into gaming stations, be it a purple $200 laptop or a work laptop or a school laptop. <clears throat> it all can do gaming. Just get the GeForce Now. I'll leave a link in the description below and you can sign up for that. And you know what's pretty cool? The fact that it's free as well. Now, if you're new here, smash that subscribe button, tap on it, click on it, do what you like but just make sure you get notified of these videos speaking of videos check out these other cool videos on your screen right now smash that head in the middle of the screen and i'll see you on the next episode of talking tech with the techie guy cheers for now